Welcome to the second part of my lecture on connected dominating sets and its applications. No prior knowledge of graph theory is needed to understand this lecture. However, I encourage all of you to watch my earlier video on connected dominating sets where the fundamental concepts are explained. In this lecture, I am going to talk about minimum connected dominating sets. In particular, I'm going to discuss about a greedy algorithm to find minimum connected dominating sets. I will also give you an example. And finally, I will discuss some applications of minimum connected dominating sets. First, let me talk about bipartite graph and set governing problem because they are closely related. The connected dominating set problem is to find a minimum connected dominating set. Finding a minimum connected dominating set is known to be an NP-complete problem. This essentially means that these class of problems cannot be solved quickly in polynomial time. Several authors have proposed algorithms for obtaining approximate minimal connected dominating sets. The problem of finding a minimum connected dominating set can be mapped into a set covering problem. And the set covering problem is essentially a problem concerning bipartite graphs that can be stated as follows. Suppose that H is a bipartite graph consisting of two sets of nodes A and B, where edges only make connections between A and B. Also assume that for each node in B, there is at least one edge connecting to a node in A. The goal is to find a minimal subset C of A such that every node in B is covered by, that is adjacent to some node in C. The bipartite vertex graph cropping problem can be addressed using a greedy algorithm. At each stage, a vertex from A is elected that covers as many vertices from B as possible that are not yet covered by an elected vertex. We will discuss it in detail with an example. First, recall how to construct the bipartite graph H from the network graph G. Let G be a connected graph where V represents the set of vertices and E represents the set of edges. Let A and B are copies of vertices of E. Now construct a bipartite graph H by putting an edge between vertices V of A and U of B if they are adjacent to each other. Now let me explain the construction of the bipartite graph H. Now A represents the set of all vertices of the graph G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. B also represents the set of all vertices from G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we put an edge between a vertex, a vertex from A to a vertex from B if they are adjacent to each other in the original graph. So now 1 is clearly adjacent to 1, so we put an edge between 1 from A to 1 from B. Then look at 1 again. 1 is adjacent to 2. That's why we put an edge between 1 and 2. 1 is adjacent to 5. So that's why we put an edge between 1 and 5. Now let us look at the vertex 2. 2 is adjacent to 1. 2 is adjacent to 2. And 2 is also adjacent to 3. And 2 is also adjacent to 5. That's why we put edges between them. Then look at vertex number 3. Vertex number 3 is adjacent to 2. Vertex number 3 is adjacent to 3. And vertex number 3 is also adjacent to 4. And vertex number 3 is also adjacent to vertex number 6. So that's why we put age, ages between them. Then let's look at vertex number 4. Vertex number 4 is adjacent to 3. Vertex number 4 is adjacent to 4. Vertex number 5 is adjacent to 1. Vertex number 5 is adjacent to 2. Vertex number 5 is adjacent to 5. 
and vertex number 5 is also adjacent to 6. Now let's look at vertex number 6. Vertex number 6 is adjacent to vertex number 3. Vertex number 6 is adjacent to vertex number 5. And vertex number 6 is adjacent to vertex number 6. This is how we construct the bipartite graph H. Now after we construct the bipartite graph, I'm going to describe you how to find a minimum dominating set first and then I will talk about how to find a minimum connected dominating set. So here is the graph, bipartite graph H, that has been constructed from the original graph G. Now compute the degree of all nodes in the set A in the bipartite graph H, that is compute the covering numbers. So the covering number of vertex 1 is 3, the covering number of vertex 2 is 4, the covering number of vertex 3 is 4, the covering number of vertex 4 is 2, the covering number of vertex 5 is 4, and the covering number of vertex 6 is 3. Now I'm going to describe a greedy algorithm to find a minimum dominating set. Elect a node V from set A such that V has the highest covering number and add it to the output set C. If there is a tie, then the highest ID is used to break the tie. Remove all vertices in the set B that are covered by the node V. Also, remove V from A. So in this example, after the first round, the output set C equals 5 as vertex 5 from A has the highest covering number as well as the highest ID. Note that when you elect vertex 5, you also need to remove all the edges that are connected to vertex 5. In addition, you also need to remove all the vertices in B that are connected to vertex 5. So in this example, we remove vertex number 1, vertex number 2, vertex number 5, and vertex number 6 from B. During the second round, we compute the covering number of all the remaining vertices in A. Although vertices 3 and 4 in A have the same covering number, vertex 4 is selected because it has the highest ID. Because vertex 4 has ID 4, and vertex 3 has ID 3, both have the same covering number 2. After the second round, all vertices in B are exhausted and the algorithm converges. The final output set C equals 4, 5, 4, 5 is a minimal dominating set. We can adapt the same greedy algorithm to find a minimal connected dominating set. It will be helpful to identify the vertices of A with vertices of G. After we select vertex 5 from A, only a vertex adjacent to 5 in G can be selected next. 1, 2, 6 are adjacent to 5 in G. 2 and 6 have the same covering number. So we select 6 from A as it has the highest ID. Then we remove vertex 6 from A and vertex 3 from B. Now the output set C equals 5 comma 6. And clearly covering number of vertex 1 is 0, covering number of vertex 2 is 1 and covering number of vertex 6 is 1. So now the output set C equals 5 comma 6. Now covering number of vertex 1 is 0 covering number of vertex 2 is 0, covering number of vertex 3 is 1. We must choose a vertex in A with highest covering number. 4 is not eligible as it is neither adjacent to 5 or 6 in G. So the eligible vertices are 1, 2, and 3. Now, we select 3 as it has the highest covering number because 3 has covering number 1. So, the output set C equals 3, 5, 6 is a minimal connected dominating set. There are lots of applications of 
minimum connected uh, dominating sets in wireless networks. In particular, mobile ad hoc networks are represented by a connected graph and minimum connected dominating sets are used to do routing in wireless ad hoc networks. The dominating sets induce a virtual backbone. So that leads to the, brings to the conclusion of our lecture today. Finding a minimum connected dominating set is an NP-complete problem. Several approximation algorithms, including greedy algorithms, have been proposed. Connected dominating sets have lots of practical applications in wireless networks. And connected dominating sets are often used as a virtual backbone in mobile ad hoc networks for routing. And thanks for watching this video.